So I'm here with uh, David Horsager, the best-selling author of The Trust Edge. We're gonna have a discussion today and just, you know, what what is The Trust Edge and David's teachings for preferred credit um, done for our organization? So we're just gonna have a little uh, question and answer session here and we'll see where it goes. So um, I'll, I'll start with just a little bit about Trust Edge for anybody who doesn't know it. We believe a lack of trust is the biggest cost in an organization. At the core, it's always a trust issue. It's not a leadership issue. People follow leaders only because they trust them. It's not a sales issue. People buy when they trust. It's not a, you know, a team issue. It's not an innovation issue. When trust goes up, then people innovate. It's not a diversity, equity, inclusion issue um, on its own because diversity on its own can pit people against each other unless we increase trust. So when we deal with the trust issue, which we noticed in the research going back almost two decades now, then we solve for attrition and sales and growth and all these kind of things. And, you know, that's what the trust edge is. When I gain this advantage of being trusted, it's a massive advantage. I think it's the best advantage you can have in life. It's the best advantage you can have in business. Certainly, uh, the biggest risk we have in business is losing trust. And when you don't have trust, it's very, very hard to, uh, to get clients to join you and partner with you, but, you know, also do the things you need them to do for your mutual customers. So we just started this journey 10 years ago and we continue it today and we're continuing to work on building more and more trust with our clients, um, with our employees mainly, uh, you know, because they really have to trust you, uh, our vendors, um, and just everybody that we come in contact with. And, and that trust just has driven our success. At Trust Edge Leadership Institute, we talk about PCI because PCI of all the times we've run the Enterprise Trust Index, it's our way of measuring trust in massive organizations and universities and governments. We've used this in uh, you know, some of the biggest organizations in the world, significant high trust organizations even. Uh, PCI came out with the highest trust score we've ever seen. What are the, some of the things that help you be as high trust as you are? We noticed some things, we know there's some things ahead where you're taking the eight pillars and putting them to your review process, putting the eight pillars into even uh, talk to your HR lead on, on putting them into how you hire more intentionally and some of those things. But what, are, what do you see as some more of the things that got you here as far as how did that become a common language? You know, it's just constant communication, reinforcement, reinforcement. You know, if you look around the office here, um, we have it on the wall in our training room, the eight pillars of trust. And so it creates this common language, but then it's communicating, 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 just keep reinforcing. But it's also your actions, the things that you do that show the, your, your team members and the staff that not only am I saying these words, but I live by these words. Different things you do with customers, clients. You can't let money get in the way of building trust. Now, again, you have to make a profit. We all do, we're in business. But you can't always let, it can't be about the money. It has to be about what are you trying to accomplish? You had some people say um, this big comparison of old PCI to new PCI. Tell me about that. So the old PCI was all about, you know, just I don't trust you to make decisions, so I'm gonna tell you what to do and I expect you to do it, and I expect you to work a lot of hours doing it. And so we had to flip that on its head. We had to go a 180, and we had to say, okay, now we trust you to make the right decision. I mean, we gotta mentor you, and we gotta work with you and, and, and build your understanding, but we trust you to make the right decisions if you're using these frameworks, so our values. And if you look at our values, it's eight, or it's six of the eight pillars of trust. I mean, we just, you know, plagiarized out of your book <laughs> uh, to create our values. And so we just said, if you are making decisions out of, on these values with this vision and this mission, it's very hard to be wrong. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna make real bad mistakes uh, by doing that. And so we started trusting them to make their own decisions and, and then everything didn't have to run through me because I knew early on, I couldn't have everything running through me if we were gonna grow. And we are, we have grown, you know, tremendously since that time. And, and so it's really transformed the business. That's the work. That's the it's work. work. That, that's the problem with this trust stuff. It takes work. Yep. A lot of people want to sell a quick trainer, a quick little this, or a flavor of the month that. And the problem with the trust is it takes work. But yep. it, in my opinion, is the most important work there is to do. 
what what would you say to someone else thinking about I'm thinking about increasing trust or I'm thinking about applying those eight pillars of trust or the trust edge work? What, what would you say? I would say you know start small, start with a couple, and then just build and build and build and continue to build that connection and that trust. It was so fun and inspiring for me to see what happens when people increase trust when they value this work that we're passionate about and seeing it implemented here at PCI and seeing the impact it's making and as we look around that table and saw the personal impact and we see what's happening with partner relationships and even with each other um, I just want to thank you for carrying this torch of trust forward in this part of the world well thank you and and you know it was your work it was your ideas we're very grateful for you and your team and all you guys have done for us to help us on this journey and continue this journey and continue our improvement through your, your teaching and your works and your concepts. So we are very appreciative of that. Thank you. Thank you.